Hi, my name is Mark, one of the pastors here at Trillium. I'm growing what's called the bottle gourd plant. It's an African plant. It makes a kind of gourd that's in a bottle shape. And, and I'm using it to provide some extra gourds for an instrument I play called the bala that uses this kind of gourd. And what's interesting is I've got this, inter this little seed, and it's very different from any kind of seed I've ever seen before. But what's even more interesting is that when I plant in the ground, I'm really not certain what kind of plant's going to grow. I mean, I've seen some video on them, and I've seen pictures. But this is sort of a step into the unknown, and, and it's exciting. Because there's no correlation between what a seed looks like and what the plant ultimately turns out to be. And that's true for all seeds. You cannot look at a tomato seed and know what the tomato plant's going to look like. You cannot look at a rose uh, seed uh, and ultimately know what the plant looks like that makes the rose flower. And, and this is true throughout nature. And, and Paul takes this analogy and he, and he lays it out for us in terms of resurrection. He, he, he says, the resurrection body is radically different from the body that we have today. We're like the seed. And we're planted into the ground in our death, and then what comes up from it is radically different from what was planted. The seed and the flower bear no likeness to another. The seed and the plant are completely different. And what I find interesting about this in the context of our conversations around resurrection is it reminds me that when we get knocked down, and remember, resurrection is related to getting knocked down, pushed down, shoved down, falling down. When we fall down at life, when we stand again, which is the literal meaning of resurrection, it's understood that we're meant to be different than when we, before we got knocked down. And, and the implication for that is when you, when you get knocked down, when you stand again, there's something profoundly changed in the midst of it all. Now, for little knockdowns in life, it's maybe just a little marginal difference. When it's big or huge, like death might be, Paul sees this as a symbol of the radical change between before and after. I, I see a lot of people who get knocked down in life, but when they stand again, they, they, they kind of dig their feet down, they, they resist. It's just like as if they've never learned anything from the knockdown. I know this guy that keeps getting knocked down in life by the same thing. It comes in different guises. It's basically the same story over and over again. He gets knocked down. He gets back up. He's more dispirited, more frustrated than he was before. He's more determined to keep doing it the way he's always done it. And in the end, it seems to me that the lesson of life hasn't been learned. See, because when we stand again, it's understood that we stand differently, stand anew. In fact, the, the meaning in Greek for anastasis has both meanings again and anew. Paul, Paul calls us to, uh, in a sense, embrace the knockdowns of life because there are little cracks that go into the seed life that we have. We're like the seed. This life that we're in, we're like the seed. And when we get knocked down, the shell of the seed gets cracked just a little bit more. We as seeds want to hold on to the life that we already know, not realizing that in the midst of some of the difficulties we're experiencing, a blessing is coming to us. Because the crack is going deeper and deeper so that when we are planted in life in new ways already, the little seedling shoots can begin. I mean, that's the ultimate excitement for us who follow Christ. We don't have to wait until death to experience the radical change and the knockdown between the before and the after, between the seed state and the seedling state. It's here right before us in this midst of the, of the moment we're part of. We can experience the seedling life already. When we get knocked down, we are invited to stand with the confidence that something in life is pushing through us to the world, that the seedling plant is being expressed in that moment and that something good is unfolding in the midst of all the challenges that we face. I, I don't know what that gourd plant is going to look like, the bottle gourd plant is going to look like, any more than I know what my resurrection body, if you want to call it that, is going to look like. Or, my resurrection existence is going to be. I do know this, that I can confidently let go of being a seed and embrace what's coming towards me because I know in my heart that God is only intending good things for me. Good things for me, good things for you, for the world.